Okay, so this is a Bose Series 1 sound dock with the 30 pin docking connector which of course is not very useful these days since uh, almost nobody has iPads or iPhones or iPods um, that use the 30 pin connector. Um, you either have no connector or you have the um, lightning connector. So I had tried using these with the little Bluetooth modules that just snap into the connector and some of them I've tried just don't work. The ones that do work tend to be very noisy. They have clicking and, and interference in them and it's just not a great experience. So what I figured I'd do is uh, hardwire a um, Bluetooth connector with an auxiliary input uh, in place of the docking connector and actually I ended up just putting it over the top of the docking connector. So went from this to this and what you see here is a 3D printed housing. Um, the Bluetooth module is inside of it. Also inside of this is a very small DC to DC voltage converter because the sound dock provides about 17 volts and the Bluetooth module uh, only needs 5 volts. So uh, that's all in there. There's a switch that actually tells the sound dock um, to turn on by emulating a iPod uh, being docked and this is how it works. So if I grab my iPhone here, as you can see it, uh, you'll see that the sound dock shows up. I've already renamed this, otherwise it shows up as some generic name. But I connect to that. So now that I'm connected, we can fire up Pandora. I can control the volume from my phone and the uh, volume uh, control on the dock itself still works if you have a control for the sound dock that also still works. Um, like I said there's a, a eighth inch jack here uh, which strictly speaking is a headphone jack off the Bluetooth module but since it's essentially wired in parallel to the sound input on the um, sound dock uh, you can directly plug a cable into that into a phone or an iPad or a laptop and then you have an auxiliary in. Um, if you happen to be streaming Bluetooth at the same time you'd get both signals because it's not a true auxiliary in. It doesn't cut the, um, the uh, Bluetooth out when you have something plugged in there. But if I flip the switch here the sound dock turns off. Um, there's still power to the Bluetooth module. I don't know if you can see the little light flashing there but it um, basically tells the sound dock that there's nothing docked, so it uh, turns off the amplifier unit and turn it back on. Let's see, I can... control the volume that way. So, there it is. I've got an instructable that tells you how to do this. It has a links to the um, STL files for 3D printing if you want to make your own, um, supplies for uh, sources for the board and the um, for the Bluetooth uh, module and the DC DC converter. Um, it takes about five hours to print and a couple hours to solder. Um, you need to have some some decent um, small wire because it's pretty small connections you're making to the board. Um, the only assembly, disassembly involved in that docking station is to remove three Torx screws here, pull off the bottom, and then you have access to the um, circuit board on the, on the docking unit. Um, solder six wires to that, solder everything in place there, and uh, you have a uh, Bluetooth-enabled uh, sound dock uh, instead of sending it to the landfill or struggling with one of those um, cheap little plug-in connectors. So, enjoy!